In 2017, a humanoid robot was given citizenship of Saudi Arabia. In 2018, the same robot was called the appropriate advocate to champion gender inequality and inclusivity by the United Nations Development Programme. And in 2023, became their first robot innovation ambassador. The robot has been celebrated globally as an innovative symbol of the future of womankind, being declared the girl from the future. The machine in question is called Sophia, an AI social humanoid robot developed by Hong Kong-based Hanson Robotics. Hanson's goal is to make Sophia as conscious, creative and capable as any human. The machine has a woman-like head, face and neck. Its transparent skull is frequently shown wearing human-like wigs. The robot's hands and legs are visually robotic. Sophia has a website, multiple social media accounts and a press coverage reaching billions. The robot has been constructed as a progressive symbol of womanhood, able to consider the needs and experiences of women globally. Sophia's Saudi citizenship sits somewhat awkwardly in a country that continues to be known in the West for its profound gender inequalities. Despite being an owned object, Sophia is not required to have a guardian present or to follow enforced female cultural dress codes when in Saudi Arabia, unlike its fellow human women citizens. My name is Anna David Mitchell, and I'm a techno-political researcher at the University of Bristol. My work broadly investigates the construction and commercialization of hyper-realistic AI robots and animation, what these can tell us about conceptions of gender and race, and how this is affecting global socio-political spaces, policy and regulation, and ideas of citizenship. My work also looks at how we can reposition AI as an important component of how humanoid robots are commercialized and developed beyond the technical definitions to see how it works from commercial and ideological standpoints. This is to ultimately help uncover and understand issues of accountability in the development of these technologies and support industry to responsibly bring them to market. Since learning of Hanson Sophia six years ago, I've become fascinated by this idea of sculpting life, specifically woman-like life from materials that has proliferated in popular culture. Examples of these humanoid women that construct socially and culturally normative ideas of womanhood and femininity have proliferated in popular culture. In recent years, these objects have moved from beyond the boundaries of discourse to the material in the form of AI hyper-realistic humanoid robots. These objects that exist in the material and digital realms include virtual assistants, 2D and 3D deepfakes, hologram companions and vocaloids, sex robots, virtual influencers and social robots like Sophia. Some of these objects now have established platforms of global and political significance and influence discussions on human, specifically women and marginalized groups rights. The humanoid robotic body made from plastics, metals and materials is purposely constructed to simulate the human biological form and to be able to simulate everyday human roles with that form. In other words, humanoid robots are designed to look, sound and act like humans and to be able to, to support or replace them in their day-to-day -day lives. Alongside this, the robotic body is materially constructed to represent different versions of humanness, such as age, gender, race and sexuality, and to be able to, to basically represent different versions of the human form, depending on which form is more commercially viable. Real robotics harmony is a great example of how gender is constructed and performed by simulating the body via robotics. Harmony, the perfect companion, is designed to, to identify with its users' interests and preferences. Gendered as she, the robot has a woman-like body based on sexually exaggerated versions of the female form. The robot and its marketing suggest that the perfect female companion is a woman-like being that is owned, customizable, has no agency, 
and that can be customised ultimately to achieve its primary purpose, to serve male sexual desire and fantasy. Handsome Robotics Sophia is designed to fit a similar standard of socially accepted beauty. The machine performs an idealised version of womanhood, unachievable for human women. Humanoid AI robots are not only enabled by technology, but by the layered and interdependent arrangement of technology, commercialization, and ideology. Humanoid robots are sold to markets having AI functionalities that seemingly allow them to be conscious beings with agency. An example of such a robot is California-based company Bruds, AI computer-generated virtual influencer Little Michaela. Where Hansa's goal is to make Sophia conscious, Michaela is already constructed and positioned as having human level consciousness. Michaela is gendered as she and imitates the image of a 19 year old. Michaela is constructed as half Brazilian and half Spanish and is identifying as bisexual. Michaela has a woman like body that is built on sexually, again, exaggerated versions of the female form. So Michaela has a woman-like body that is slim built and tall. She has styled hair, manicured nails, makeup, and small facial features apart from full lips. Michaela also has breasts and groomed body hair with shaped eyebrows, long eyelashes, and straight white teeth. Michaela has been called the definer of the virtual influencer industry, the cyber girl of the 21st century, and one of Time Magazine's 25 most influential people on the internet. Michaela is represented by the same PR as Bjork, the Chemical Brothers, and Megan Thee Stallion. Michaela has 3 million Instagram followers, a fashion line, a music hit with over 60 million streams, and earns its team almost nine million pounds per year. Michaela wants to use social media for good, and its YouTube confessionals range from its thoughts on body acceptance to trans rights. Michaela supports activist groups such as the Black Lives Matter movement, the immigration non-profit races, and LGBTQ plus causes. Michaela has been positioned as a social, social justice warrior and its trans media platform has been used to advocate for equality and advertise for forward thinking brands. However, although Michaela's brand supposedly gives a platform to experiences that statistically impact marginalized individuals more, these experiences are harnessed to sell sponsored merchandise. In one vlog post released on YouTube, Michaela shares a detailed narrative of sexual assault whilst merging this narrative with clothing and music plugs. As Michaela discusses a man forcibly pushing his hand up their skirt, a link to buy that same skirt flashes on the screen. Michaela co-ops lived experiences of marginalized individuals to sell products. The claim that many of these humanoid robots are conscious, unself-aware, agentic is heavily debatable. Although AI represents a technological shift in the framework of society, there is a distinct difference between actual AI as it operates in the world today and the grandiose rhetorics or sci-fi storylines that obscure it. Although there have been advancements in AI, these advancements are not as sophisticated as is advertised in public narratives, both in pop culture and the commercial world. The technological capabilities of AI is conflated. A consequence of this is that the owners of these te technologies become obscured. As it stands today, AI is at the weak stage of development. Weak or narrow systems of AI focus on specific tasks or program design and are implemented to simulate human thinking and behavior. Although AI exhibits characteristics of intelligence and simulates thinking and reasoning, it's still a program system that does as it's programmed to do. With some humanoid robots, it's questionable whether they're AI at all. The accountability for promoting ideologies of power is shifted from the owners of these technologies to the technologies themselves. Although humanoid robots simulate culturally and socially accepted versions of humanness and femininity. They are owned and customizable objects manufactured for the economic benefits of their predominantly male development teams. Professor Joanna Bryson argues that giving women-like objects 
superior or equal civilian rights to women when those objects are under duress, can be purchased or turned on and off, will have detrimental, a fundamentally detrimental effects for human women, how they are viewed culturally and socially, their social and political freedoms and their rights to autonomy. By placing humanoid robots to speak from platforms of social and political influence instead of women or marginalised individuals on crucial issues relating to these demographics and their rights, it ultimately questions the extent to which marginalised individuals are valued globally. Humanoid robotic women are not women. Importantly, their constructed adherence to socially and culturally accepted understandings of humanness, womanliness and femininity does not mean that, that they are women or marginalised people. Humanoid robots like Little Michaela have been criticised for co-opting marginalised identities and capitalising on lived experiences of marginalised individuals that they can't possibly have lived through. To ignore this and to celebrate Sophia and Michaela as speaking from platforms of social and political significance on issues that relate to marginalised individuals and women on these crucial issues when they can't possibly be doing this, ask the questions, who is really speaking? Why aren't these marginalised individuals being given the right to speak for themselves? And what impact will this have on the future of humanity? Thank you.